Kurt, why are you seeking this office? What made you run for county commission? Well, I think that I bring a lot to the table with my 40 years of experience as a small business owner. And I watch our county commission spend money. Our budget has ballooned over the last decade while our population's only gone up about 7%. And our budget's gone up about between 80 and 90%. And I started asking why, and I discovered why. And the, the why is because there is no strategic plan going forward, which is why our county commission seems to lurch from crisis to crisis because they have no plan. Well, when you talk to the voters, what do they say is the number one issue that they want addressed? Taxes. But what's interesting about that, everybody wants to, to lower, lower taxes and everybody wants cuts, but they don't want what they like cut. So that's, that's the dilemma. So you're going to have to sell people on, we're all going to have to suffer a little bit so that we can get where we need to be. If you're elected to this office uh, over the next four years, what do you hope to accomplish with the commission? Well, I want to create a strategic plan going forward with our spending. I want to create a 5, a 10, and a 15-year, and even a 20-year spending strategy. We need to life cycle the cost of repair and replacement of everything in the county, from roads to bridges, because there should be no surprise when, when a bridge is in the need of repair. You know, when an engineer creates a bridge on, on paper, he knows, given the traffic patterns and the materials used, how long that bridge is going to last. So there should be no surprise when in 30 years there's some repairs needed. But what happens in our county commission, they seem to just kick the, that problem down the road to be somebody else's problem in 30 years and let them deal with it. So that's what I want to accomplish. I want to, I want to get our county to the point where we have a feel for what we're going to have to spend next year, five years from now, and 10 years from now, so we can get a handle on it. Because, you know, for every dollar that we've got an increase in fees and taxes, our seniors are getting hurt because that dollar comes out of their fixed income. And our young people have the same problem because they're trying to get started and we don't have a plan going forward of where people think that they can be money-wise. And so it's, it's a dilemma.